um, tell me about your gameplay. I noticed you're on NA. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, well, I mean, what do you, what do you really want to know? So let's say you know, go through I guess uh, champion picks and what do you think you're good at and what do you think you need to work on most? Well, I really like playing Vayne. Um, but you know, recently it's more or less because I think Vayne and Kaiser are pretty similar. But it seems like I can't really do some of the things that I can. Like, um, let's say, um, like I think I'm fairly decent at Vayne, but I can't really translate some of that stuff with Kaiser. Like, you know, you see some of these games. Like, I have games where I go like thirteen and five and still lose on Kaiser, and I just interesting. Don't... Yeah, interesting. Um, is that one of the games you have uh, prepared for us? No, I don't think. I actually, I think there's one of them. Yeah, I know a couple of them are Kaisa games. Um, let me hit real quick. Let's see. All right, let me uh, load up the first we play then, and I'll see what's yeah, but, going on here. But mainly, I would say like um, just like the wave management um bot lane because you know i've been like hitting a a pretty big wall at diamond three and i can't i can't get past like 30. <laughs> that's so. a classic wall i mean the, the jump from diamond three to diamond one you know what i'm saying yeah it's good i mean this is this is my specialty this is uh this is what i this is what i needed to know to uh get out of this rank myself honestly um I was uh, stuck Diamond 3, Diamond 5 for a pretty long time before I, I broke past this barrier. So one of the, uh, one, in general, a lot of concepts um, make or break the difference between these ranks. Like uh, mid-game stuff, late-game ideas, team fighting, anything like consistency and laning, right? Um, do any of these... Uh, consistency uh, is huge, cause, or at least for me, because... I'll have games where I just like go, I pop off and I go crazy. Like I get a ton of kills and mm -hmm. I can easily carry the games. And then there's games where it's just like I'm getting camped and it's, I just keep dying and I can't, you know. Okay, okay, that's anything. good. I mean, that's good. We'll definitely be able to come up with some ideas slash uh, habits for you to work on in order to make sure that your consistency improves, right? Um, so tell me about your laning. How what what usually happens in lane for you? Do you usually win? Do you usually lose? Um, really, it's honestly kind of dependent on like what the support's playing and what he's doing, um, or whoever it is, you know. So I sort of I I used to be super aggressive, like because I I like to play Vayne, so I was and Draven, so uh, I always had that mindset. But now I'm just trying to see let let the supports and the junglers do the playmaking pog champ nice uh nice follow-up um but yeah you do i think you have uh a good idea in terms of you need to play around your support right so um have you i don't think you i really have any lane, laning issues that uh i've noticed yet wow nice knife um but just in case let's go over some um laning ideas so have you seen any of my other coaching videos by any chance uh yeah i i watch a ton of just not only yours, but I'll watch, you know, even if it's LS or if it's Dom in the jungle, just to kind of like get perspectives of other other lanes and what they do, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. So that's always good. Um, so have you seen? Have I mentioned uh, lane matchups at all in my in my videos? In the videos that you've seen? You mean by lane matchups of who wins, who is supposed to win, uh, just based uh... on pure champion? It's not necessarily about winning or losing, but more about how you're supposed to play the lane. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, I've I've seen a, a little bit about it, you know. Okay. But honestly, that's also probably another issue that I have is, uh, um, you know, I kind of just go into the same game, uh, or go into the game, just play the same way. <laughs> right me too that's actually exactly see that's that i mentioned this because that's exactly where the consistency comes in is that you want to know um how exactly you want to play this game based on the matchup right and who the junglers are for example right right um and i had the exact same problem where i just did the exact same thing and sometimes i got shit on sometimes i won right right but i have no idea how to always win or at least no idea how to not get shit on every game right so um 
the big idea in laning is making sure you always play towards your matchup. So let's say you look at this picture, right? Have you been watching the last like minute and a half, I guess? Yeah. I've so got you see this you see this Thresh's health bar, right? Yep. What's happening? In this He's matchup? getting poked out super hard. Okay, so uh what is let's just focus on supports for now, right? So Jana wants to poke and trade right. the shield, right? So they've been doing that consistently, right? Mm -hmm. What does Thresh want to do? Uh, if she walks up in range, you know, she he can either E or if um usually you don't want to lead with hook as Thresh, but if uh she walks out of minion line and gets a hook, then I think we could kill because I think we in this scenario we have heal and they don't. Right, but um, the general idea is exactly what you said, right? They're, they're, you're, gonna, you're gonna try and catch someone, mm -hmm. right? based on uh, skill shots you see. So um, the way I kind of categorize, uh, the the way I kind of figure out uh, consistent laning is making sure I categorize these matchups, right? So when I say categorize, I mean like, oh, there are uh, uh, a category of champions that want to trade. So besides Jenna, uh, who is more poked than trade, I think right now. Who 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 a champion? What support champion wants to trade? Wants to trade? Um, I would say Sona. Okay, yeah, Sona wants to trade. She can heal. Nami. Oh my God, he's disgusting, right? Nami is <laughs> Nami's probably the biggest defender, right? You probably get cancer whenever you like get waved on, and then you're like, okay, well, right. And I bad. think when I play against Nami, that's like one of the hardest matchups for me because even if I try to trade back, she'll just sustain it, and you know, like I know. If she if we keep doing that, it'll lower her mana, right? But I feel like by that time, I'm already, I'm already ready to back. You You've already lost, yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, that's exactly. It's really good that you mentioned that because that's exactly how lane is supposed to function. Is that if you fall into their win condition in lane, you're supposed to lose, and if they fall into yours, you're supposed to win, right? So right. so far, would you say you've been playing the lane matchup all correctly? Um, I feel like I'm playing it all right. Maybe there are some things that I could have done better. Like I don't know if they, if I hit tab ever anytime soon. I could look at the CS, but um, other than that, I've just kind of been sitting back and getting the free kills that they've been giving to me. Right. So this is perfect. Right. We made no major mistakes, especially in terms of uh, getting ganked and or getting poked by Jana W. Right. So we'd say perfect. We're doing really good. Right. Now it's just making sure that we do this every time, right? Um, and the way to do that is, of course, figuring out the lane matchup and saying, do you want to do this and this? So um, that's just like a quick thing. Uh, I don't think you really have, I mean, from what I'm seeing, it doesn't seem like there's a major lane problem, but in case there is in the future, this is how you lane against uh, pretty much anyone in the game is making sure you have the matchup out correctly. So uh, the my categories of laning are something like, um, wow, something's going on. There's like catch, there are like catch champions, trading champions, all-in champions, and uh, poke champions, right? So uh, I, I guess obvious examples would be like Alistar wants to all-in. Right? right. Zareth wants to poke. Zyra wants to poke. Anyone with a skill shot CC is considered catch, right? So maybe Zyra, maybe uh, something like Nami with the bubble, right? Anything like that. Um, so let's say, for example, you have poke versus catch. Anytime you take poke, that's a mistake. Okay. Right? Yeah, I get um, what you're saying. All right. Anytime you're trade versus poke anytime you trade that's a mistake right because you're not supposed to trade right so you're doing perfect because we didn't get poked that's how we know we're doing good right um so yeah, all we're doing I, is just following up we're really happy i love playing with like um with alistair's because that's just sort of like my play style i just <laughs> it's love fucking it. free I know, yeah I dude it. i love it i love it too dude um that's my favorite as well i hate it when i have like a thresh who doesn't land anything because you can't do anything then um, oh, what's going on here? I, he I just, just hate him. playing like last game, my vein game. Um, it's not in here because we won, but um, I had a Janna and I hate playing with Janna. Like, if it's not ardent, like when it was ardent meta, yeah, it's fun because I just steroid buff. But yeah, I think there I probably should have just left. I was out, but right. So let's talk about this. This is part of consistency, consistency too, right? When you take a look at this picture, how good. How, how do you know when you're supposed to turn? How do you know when you win? 90% of the time, you're going to win. How do you know? What has to uh, happen for that to happen? I mean, everything. What, what do you mean? How do you know that you win? Just so if, I, if I know I have more damage. Well, I'm seven. She's five. Or she's five but she, I think she might have leveled up off of this. So is Janna's five and slow. Uh, Zach, I don't know if he has passive. And then I can't really see. 
So let's say, um, let's clarify it a little bit and say, uh, you know within half a second you've won or not. That's when you're supposed to make your decision, right? So let's say this is a 5v5 team fight and Oriana lands a five-man ulti. Yeah. You know instantly you're winning. We won. Yep. Right. So is anything Usually. like that happening here? Uh, I mean, we get a hook, but everybody's low. And yeah, I guess they do go in. I feel like here just... I can I can get the cane, and then um, and then bounce, but then maybe she yeah they start walking up and Sivir levels up. I just didn't think I took into account that Sivir was gonna level up. So this is just um, uh, so let's say you play this fight a hundred times. What's the outcome? Probably lose ninety percent of it. Right. So I have no idea. Right. You have no idea. Yeah. So something like this is like uh, how do you know you win this? You don't. You so don't, you, can, right. you you assume losing, right? So uh, we're doing good here in terms of staying safe. And then you're like, uh, try and finish this guy off. I don't know. We're like staying. It doesn't make sense, basically. Like this guy killed himself. Zach killed himself. That's it. There's, there's, no way to, <laughs> there's no way to save him, right? I don't know. How are you supposed to save this guy at this picture? So like if, you, um, if you're not 100% sure that this is a win, like it's not a clear definition, like you will win this usually, don't. You know kind of right, play with so... caution you know you don't want to just like walk away while your team's doing whatever but you just you don't want to die because i'm right. 3-0 in the situation you, you play to the point where you play you help as much as you can but you should know in the back of your head if you don't know this is winning you consider it losing so okay. i play like you're running away right so when it becomes clear you can't finish anyone off like this i'm out dude like uh uh, it's not clear that you can do anything here. So we end up dying here because of that, right? And it's like, oh, it seems kind of close, but it wasn't really close, right? Um, right. It, was just, it was just literally 2v3, right? Because um, Zach insta-died. So uh, we would know that, to me, this is instantly losing because Zach got passive immediately, right? Something like uh, uh, you don't want to continue a fight that's losing. So when you continue a fight that's losing and nothing crazy happens, of course, the end of the result is a loss, right? So what we saw was uh, you guys got a hook on Sivir. That's not bad, but you can't follow up. Zach went in, and then he got passive. Okay, that's losing. Nothing crazy is happening. You guys end up losing, right? That's how we can logically figure out every time is this fight winning or losing, right? And should we continue the fight or should we disengage, right? Um, yeah, does that make sense? Yep. I'm just taking notes as well. As nice, nice, nice. Oh, nice try. Nice. That was a really good catch, though. Fat catch. Sure. I'm, oh, what's going on here? Got her old. Another fat uh, catch. This is fucking free. You can feel like I if can... you want. Yeah. Yeah. Since, That's fine. Uh... You don't need to necessarily do this. Guy's fucking going in. Um. Okay. There's no ulti there that time, but uh, your thresh is doing work. Okay. You can get this tower. Sure. You can even kill these guys if you're uh, if you uh, go around or something. Okay. Push this out. I think that's fine. So far, we've had a um, uh, a common trend we might see is just trying to help every single fight that happens, right? And especially at this rank, that's not you can't you can't it's you're not gonna get a good outcome if you help every fight, right? You only want to help the fights that you uh, you can actually help. Um, uh, so but that's just if there's a losing fight, right? Like let's say um, they lose a fight mid, do I just go to a side wave and just keep trying to funnel my myself gold? Right, so here's some examples I can throw out. Let's say you're pushing top, team fights mid, and it looks okay. You go help? Probably, right? You should go help because it's 5v5. Let's say you're pushing top and fight happens mid. Someone got blown up by Annie. Do you go help? Probably not. Just keep pushing. That's 100% loss, right? It's a disaster. You can't do anything, right? Um, so that's like a basic case, right? Where uh, if you can help the fight, you go help. Otherwise, you don't, right? Let's say it's 3v5 mid. Uh, and you, if you go... Your team will be 4v5. Do you go help? Uh, say that again real quick. Let's say they're doing a 3v5 mid, right? And then, 3v5, uh, so we have 3, they have 5? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you go, if you go help, it's going to be 4v5. Should you help? Uh, Probably not, depending right, on the, same the thing. situation. Yeah. Right, it's like someone got blown up by any. This is still, if you go help, it's still losing 4v5. Don't go help, right? It's a disaster. Um, and then that's like all like going to a fight. Right. How about if a f you're during the fight, right? How do you know when to go forward or when to go back? Let's say, uh, let's say it's pretty neutral. You can't really tell what's going on. You should play like you're losing. Okay. Right. Because if you play like you're losing, then uh, theoretically you should you could you can get out, right? 
Versus yeah. if you play like you're if you play like you're winning and you're actually losing, everyone gets run over, right? Have you seen that one before? I do it all the I do it all the time. Like yeah, I've I, seen that one before. <laughs> we're just like fighting, and then I walk back in because I think we're you know it's like whatever you know we're, we're ah, yeah yeah walk back in and then all of a sudden I get hit with like a CC or something to get my ass blown up. It's actually exactly what happened to me when I was at your rank. Is I have no idea what's going on, but I can hit this guy, so I'm gonna hit this guy, yep. right? um that's definitely definitely something we can we can take a look at as well if it happens but um that's the the big idea uh in terms of oh what's going on here in terms of uh knowing when to fight or when not to fight okay you definitely want to run okay nice flash um what do you think happened there i think we just went in too far without team we were face checking bushes for no reason right so um in this picture how do you know? How do you know that this is not a good idea before it happens? I guess. Uh, so we see, so Darius is about. We only have three. Those three teammates, Zach's and base. So there could be three there. So it would be a three v three, but you know Hecram's fast as shit, so he can just run in. We say that um, if there, if someone is within one lane's distance. They are they count as a person in this fight, right? So that's the average case. So let's say this is mid tower and top tower, that's one lane's distance. Right. So Zach okay. is outside that distance, so we know Zach's not here. And right. Hecarim's within that distance. So okay. that's how we know so it's three v four. At least a three v four. Right. Okay. That's your that's your quick maths, okay? Yeah. Uh this this <laughs> works up until late game when fights are less where fights are so fast they don't count. Right. But I don't. Th I don't think anyone really uh, needs to work on that. It's all mid game, mid game, mid game fights that yeah. matters the most. Because solo queue just blows out, blows up, and then you know you end the game or whatever, right? So this is three v four. You guys are just running in three v four. So that's how that's how we know we lose immediately, right? Um, so, so how do you how do you win a three v four? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, usually don't unless we blow up somebody and then make right. it a three v three. Exactly um, what you just said, right? So how do we know this is bad? Oh, we didn't blow someone up. Automatically losing. And uh, there's no way out because this is 3v4, right? Um, we had to burn flash. It feels bad. So since Ari's mid, right? So we take bot tower. Uh, usually bot goes mid or top, depending on what it is. If the sure, mid laner sure. stays, I've had that a lot. The mid laner stays. So it's it's we're all sharing XP and gold. <laughs> like we're all fighting over it. Yeah, don't and do then, that. Don't do that. So just go to a lane that they're not in. Then So... Just, the idea that's this is the, always the big question that's like oh what do i do if you know i'm told i'm supposed to swap to a to another lane after you take bot tower and stuff like that right you've heard that all the time right. um i'm gonna throw a different idea at you you want to do something productive no matter what happens right so we, people say hey swap with your other laners is because usually that's going to be the most productive thing you can do right but for us we don't care as long as it's something that is productive so let's say you know Ari didn't want to swap here mm -hmm. so what do you do okay we're gonna push top Get Scuttle and then ward up for this Rift Herald. I think that's fine, right? Okay. That seems pretty good. Um, let's see if she does want to swap. Okay, Ari can go side lane and we can just hold mid. And she's going to kill someone. And she's going to kill Sivir who shows up. That's probably better, right? Um, but as long as you have like this idea that you're trying to do something productive um, and you're always doing something productive, it doesn't really matter. You're like know when you want to swap for logical reasons, right? Why do we want to swap mid? It's not so we can get tower. It's so that Ari can kill someone in the side lane or have pressure in a side lane, right? Right. Like usually if we take dragon by the, you know, before or after, you know, we have the tower. So if we take tower, take dragon, I usually want to go top so we can pressure rift. Right, right, right. So uh, what's, uh, what's strange with this picture in terms of our inventory? Uh, we don't have any control wards. <laughs> yeah, so when this Janet just waltzes in and uh, you know, words the Rift Herald, what's going? <laughs> what can you guys do? Oh shit! I accidentally um, clicked the back button. One sec. Let's find out. Let's find our spot again. Do 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 do. do. I think uh, we're past it, right? Oh wait, yeah, this is a different that's, game. That's a different game. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I tried to upload those raffle files or whatever that they had, but uh, did not work. It is oh, fine. There it is. This is fine. Um, but yeah, you need a pink ward. Otherwise, uh, you can't. What are you supposed to do without a pink ward? I don't know. Um, if they can see you, then you have a lot less options. But sure, we tried to help Thresh. It didn't work out. Um, but we should have known that uh, 
anytime your team wants to do something, you should always double check in terms of is this actually a good thing, right? Um, okay, if we go top, I think that's fine. He's, he's just going to get away. You don't want to chase this guy. Oh, we're dead if we're not careful. Interesting, interesting. So what's... uh? Is there anything wrong with this picture? Uh, I figured we could kill him since it was three versus one, right? But I understand I'm the only one that's going to be doing damage here. Mm. Luckily, like, if he would have hit that ult, I would have died 100%, right? Well, you had a, you had a clean ulti, right? But how do you know this is three versus one? Oh, that's true. Yeah, we don't see anybody else. Right, so, so you can say, hey, these words are pretty good, right? Yeah. But, uh... I don't think you made this play without seeing LeBlanc first. So what if she was just run straight and then she's going to kill your ass? What do you do? Right. So, yeah. um, this is like, a. I think I would say this is, could be reasonable, but you need to make sure that, uh, there's no counterplay, right. In terms of, um, how many people are at this fight? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Uh, because this is, this is a common, this is common where, you try and make something happen, right? Let's say you and your support try and kill someone. Someone shows up. Oh, it's not 2v1 anymore, right? And everyone, everyone dies. That's pretty common, right? Right. Yeah, it is. So I'd say you, you need to double check to make sure that uh, you want to make this play. You'll press tab and count how many people are missing and where could they be, right? So I think your words are pretty good in terms of um, it's really hard for them to get here in time. But what if they were in this bush or something, right? Let me see. Right. Oh, yeah. They could they could have they just ran straight. Not Sivir, but uh, whatever is like Janna. Okay, maybe we have a problem. Right. Um, so yeah. But sure, we get Rift Herald after that. Uh, sure, sure, sure. There's a fight breaking out. This is really bad. You want to run. Everyone wants to run. Right. So if you turn around, this could be Maka S. <laughs> run! That's not good enough. Oh, that might be enough. That's not good enough either. Okay, you can just get a free kill here. Oh, that's fine. So, so far, so good. So, you played that like that was losing. You guys were losing, and then you got out, right? Seems pretty good to me. Yeah. I think we just start chasing here. So, how do we lose games is the real question here. Yeah. This oh. is a game with a couple of days ago. Uh, we'll, I guess we'll see. Let's push. Sure. Uh, and then you... Oh, okay. We want a rift here. Okay. Oh, wanna... I think Hecarim just keeps pushing base, honestly. Uh, you guys have no HP for this. Someone's dying to LeBlanc. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe not. Oh, uh -oh. Uh, this is the classic. All right, um, let's watch this. So, what's going on in this picture? Let's talk about this. Uh, we're just we're rifting mid. So I okay. I feel like we should, uh, you know, looking back at it, this is free, right? This tower is free, and okay. then. We see Hecram bot, so or we did at least. So right okay. here we should have left, or even before that, after we got the tower. Right. How do you know this beforehand? beforehand? How do you know Hecram's bot doesn't matter? Because yes, yes, look he has, at the, uh, the HP bars of Thresh and just and Zach as well. If I said everyone full HP, you guys are still losing. Why would I say that? Um, I wouldn't it still be a four v four? How's it 4v4? Shit, hold on. My computer went to... S oh, that's true because, you know, as you said, the lane apart. Well, so wouldn't it be technically be a 5v5 then? Because Hecarim is a lane apart and then Darius is a lane apart? Um, So Darius, it seems like Darius is close enough. Mm -hmm. right? uh, how fast is this fight going to be? Pretty quick, I would assume, since everybody's I would say low. It's, yeah, I would say it's pretty quick. So he may not count, right? And then if you judge the nature by his champion, he's pretty slow in t in compared right, to like something like, you know, something like yeah. that, right? He just wants to split. So um, you could say this is some kind of 5v5. I don't think Darius is coming, let's be honest, right? Um, and even if it is 5v5, it's not clear to me that you guys are are winning this either, right? Because like you said, you have no HP. But the bigger, this is the real bigger issue is that um, what did Hecarim do that made this a 4v5, essentially? Um, I don't know if he ran or if he teleported. I, I don't remember if he was. Oh yeah, he he's, he's teleporting, right? Yeah. Yep. So anytime the top laner is splitting, you and you don't know their TP timer, they're here, right? So this is the uh, <laughs> this is the most common mid game mistake of any rank is hitting the tower 
and keep going, right? So what are you guys trying to do? You guys are trying to siege. What happens? They engage, everyone dies, right? You fast forward, four people die, right? Four, four or three people, that doesn't matter. Everyone's just dying here, right? You guys are losing the game now. So, um, you know, how do you prevent this? Don't hit tower, unless you know they can't stop you. Right, and I was so, sitting on Rage Blade here, so I should have just backed anyway. Right, and the way you the re, the way people like in the higher ranks can you know why do they have such high win rates? It's because they spam back ping whenever they see something like this. It's just uh, you guys need to run, right? You guys are all gonna die. Um, this is just pure four v five essentially. Right? So there's, there's just no one of those it. situations where let's say they do keep fighting, right? But I get out. I mean, that's just something you can't. I mean, obviously you can't control your teammates. So right, 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 right. Um, let's say you didn't die here, but all your teammates died. Mm -hmm. And you push out bot. What's the difference? Um, I sort of even out a, a little bit of the gold that was given to them. But, right, the uh, scaling AD carry gets to get some XP and money, right? Versus you getting nothing and they get another kill, right? Like, there's literal no no way you could have won this mechanically if you play this a thousand times, right? Maybe you'll play, maybe you won like five, ten times, right? But uh, the reason why. This this is the the reason why this is just the average result is just because you know the team with more people wins right mm -hmm. um, unless you see something crazy in terms of value right this is just this is disaster now right um, so that's like one of the uh, key things in terms of mid game ideas is is you don't hit tower unless you're prepared for their engage right and for me I don't even hit tower unless they're all dead I don't even care about tower damage right it's just a it's just a big throw in solo queue um, so you just sit back and because you know. Right, we push we push waves and then we see what happens because let's say for example um, your siege is uh, only wins if Janna can ulti Hecarim away or something like that. It, it's not a good it's not a good um, what's it called? Right, let me let me throw a better example out. Let's say you you can only siege if Tom Kench is gonna eat you out of the Zac E. Okay, what if he screws up? You guys just all die. Right. right. And then what was the what was the reward? Oh, a few tower hits. I don't know about that one. Right. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. So this dragon doesn't make sense either. Um, you want to play like you're losing. Otherwise, oh, okay, not too bad. Yeah, you, you, you don't. I don't know who started this, but uh, I hope you didn't start this. Let me see who started this. Is I hope it's not you. Oh, it's Darius. Okay. I hope they know what they're doing because seems unclear to me. If you guys find a hook or a charm, this could be fine. But um, your goal is to stay stay as safe as possible in these kind of fights, right? So if you died right there, why would that be? Because I'm walking up and hitting the dragon while the fight's breaking out. Right, right? Hecarim, Hecarim specifically. Close. Yeah, Hecarim specifically is going to ulti you, and then you get blown up by LeBlanc, right? So you need to stay super safe. It's not your job to find something. You don't have the tools to do that yet, right? Um, it's your job to make sure you don't die and throw the fight. Oh, this is really bad, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's a disaster. Oh boy. So what happened here? What do you think? Uh we just picked a bad fight. It's the same thing as hitting the tower, right? Is uh the team that starts up something is at a natural disadvantage. So, so you guys just saw that. <laughs> usually you just wanna wait until they unless it's completely free, let's say they're they're all dead or only one of them's up. Unless it's completely free, like you know how you're saying the fights, if if you know 100% it's a win, then do it. Otherwise, sort of like let them see, because that in my mind that almost makes it feel like, um, you know, getting this dragon is trying to be proactive in a way, but then it really net getting result. This, getting this dragon is suicidal in my opinion, right? Okay. So let's say you know if you want to be proactive, you want to get things done, right? You want to make something happen. How do you make sure? This dragon is 90% uh, you guys are going to get it. You push out waves first and you pink ward everything. And then they have to face check, right? Because uh, they have no idea if you're doing it. The reason why we know this is just disaster is because they can just, they're watching you guys do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, uh, you know, you guys are currently losing minions, bot, which is not good, right? You guys are losing income, right? And there's no way to guarantee that you guys are getting it. So that's how we know. Average case, this is a disaster, right? Um, you would need to have some kind of specific plan, like we started up Bard Ulti, we're gonna go in, right, or something like that. But here, it just, there's just, it's just not gonna happen in Solo Q, right? This is just, this is just the coin flip, mm -hmm. right? So what should, what should you do in this case? You spam back pin, you push bot until the fight breaks out, and then walk over. 
Right, exactly. And then walk over. Because uh, you being here doesn't really do anything, right? It's just... Uh, no, you guys aren't really trying to get the dragon. There's no way. You can't actually get the dragon consistently. You guys are trying to bait them into running into you, right? So there's no reason for you to hit this dragon unless you guys are uh, trying to rush it down because their jungler's not here or something, right? But that's just that's just not a thing. Um, so yeah, it's just... Uh, but, but it all came... Notice how this all started because of the mid push, right? Right, and that's what I'm... It's like, I feel like one bad play just kind of leads to this huge snowball that I can't really do anything about. Right, so well, we, besides you know not making the bad play, in yeah, the <laughs> yeah, yeah, or noticing it in the first place and making sure everyone doesn't do it, right? Mm -hmm. um, but even even here, this is still this is still doable. They didn't really, okay, they broke base, but it's not significant enough to auto lose the game. So you guys are still in it. Uh, if you die here, why would that be? Because I'm being too aggressive again, and we don't see anybody. Right. So uh, part of uh, carrying as an AD carry is making sure. You're only doing consistent things, right? So the reason why we know this is not consistent is because what if LeBlanc is hiding here? Worst case scenario, you die and they get Baron, right? Um, so it just doesn't make sense here, right? What should you do instead? What do you think? Just keep pushing out mid wave, go get uh, red buff and then top. Yes, right? Who wants to push out mid? All right, so you go you go red buff, hoping they're not there, or uh, let's assume they're not there because they were all bot and they base there, and you catch top, right? But since we chase, you know, we lost four waves top. Right. So it's all about like consistency in terms of uh, mid-game ideas. Making sure we're not taking a fight that's just average case disaster and making sure we're generating as much gold as possible. Right. So you need to push out waves. Um, uh, yeah. And then Dar Darius gets it. So it's not like awful, but I think you would rather have, I think the team would rather have Kaisa pick it up. Right. Right. Um, so yeah. And then somehow now we're farming camps and now Zach is like uh, kind of awkward. And then Darius got extra waves bot and then now we're sharing with our you see there's like now a lot of things are happening that like doesn't make sense it's so not it's not ideal do you n not normally take the jungle camps unless oh they're... no 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 you do it's just uh uh we shouldn't have had to because we could have done something better like take right top, okay right? um you do you do unless you have something like uh graves or kha'zix whatever some kind of scaling jungle right uh okay so here's another example What's going on here? Why is this inconsistent? Uh, I mean, so we see Kane top, okay. and we get Janna ulti out of it. So it's four v four, right? Mm -hmm. And then okay, I we feel go like in. I could just blow this. I, I feel like I could just blow her up though. You so QRW from LeBlanc and you die, right? <laughs> yeah, that is true. Right. So it's all about you have to be paranoid, dude. Like, have you ever played uh, Amnesia or any of these like horror games? Yeah, on Dude, the yeah. yeah, yeah. You you are the main character as an AD carry, okay? And they are all trying to kill your ass. They're all monsters, literally trying to kill you at any time. This could be Hecarim. It doesn't have to be LeBlanc, right? Mm -hmm. So if you do this, you're not actually trying to kill Janna. You're trying to bait out Hecarim ult so you can flash it or ult it. I don't know, whatever, right? But uh, anytime this like something like this happens, it's kind of um, it's kind of like a throw, right? Um, even if you even if you kill him or don't kill him, uh, the average case is losing. Right, we would say. The average case is actually losing here, right? Because we're just face checking into people that can kill us, right? Um, so just take the win since right there, you know, we, we chunked her out, we got her ult, then we just keep pushing mid because she's oh, either yeah. got a back or, you know, do something exactly. else. Exactly. Right. You just kill, you just hit her. Oh, we can't chase unless we see LeBlanc and Hecarim. Push mid, run in their jungle. We're happy, right? Something like that. Or even push mid, go ward Baron, right? We're happy. Um, so yeah, I think there are some. Uh, ideas of tunneling. Oh, Monka S. Is LeBlanc still alive? You guys are all dead. Yeah, see? Here we go, right? How do we know it's going to happen? Because we've died to it a million times. Right? Yeah. You've died to it a million times, right? Like, uh, tell me if this sounds familiar. Anything like Talon, Kha'Zix, Rengar, Katarina, yep. Akali. Yeah, yeah Zed. Yo, this is literally everything, right? So why, you know... If we know it's coming, or uh, what's, what's the what's the reason why we always die to it? It's because uh, we play like they don't exist. You know what I'm saying? Like, how did right. I know you're gonna die here? She's gonna kill you, right? Because you don't know where she is, right? That's my first. That's my first instinct. Isn't my first instinct isn't to fight these guys to the death. It's where's their LeBlanc, right? Because if you die to her, then none of this is really worth it. I, I would say, sure, you got a fat shutdown, 
but uh, like specifically in this case, it's not bad. But in a different game, it could be the opposite, right? You're you're the one giving the shutdown, killing random people, right? It's like yeah. not, it's not like not a consistent outcome throughout like a thousand games, right? It's not good. Um, so what's the idea here? What do you think? If LeBlanc is so scary, what are, what are we supposed to do then? Let's fast forward. Just just ward, and then if we see her, uh, or or you know if we see her in a a side lane or something, then we can make a play. Right. When you see her, you can walk up and do something. Right. You have no idea where she is. Like here, let's 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 take this for example. Over the wall. That's that's pretty familiar, right? Oh, over the blue buff wall. Over the blue buff wall. Yeah. Over this wolves wall. Right. Yeah. Uh, those are all very common. I would say. Right. Um, so yeah, you have to wait until an opportunity arises, right? And I think that's a, that's a big, that's a big issue most players have is they will try and hit someone first without making sure they are safe, right? That's, that's a pretty, that's, that's pretty common, I would say. It's trying to do something before they made sure that they can't die for whatever reason, right? Um, okay, what's going on here? So we push top, uh, okay, you better is kill this, this quick and run. Right. Yeah, I was about to say, is that greedy since I'm out too far? You know, they can just, it's Kane, if, so he can come over the wall. I mean, if you can beat Kane for whatever reason, this is fine. Um, if you can beat LeBlanc for any reason, this is fine. Uh, or Hecarim, right? But, I, Hecarim's bot, actually, so we should be okay. But um, you have to be prepared for when they come out, right? It's not It's not like, it's not like they don't exist. Like, they're, they're, they're in this bush, so I would not walk this way. Mm -hmm. That's what you should be thinking. The monsters are in this bush, okay? You have to be paranoid. Otherwise... You get caught once, that's a throw, right? That's Baron. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure, we take this. Um, okay, we can hit Baron here. Oh, good job, Thresh. Hit Baron so that uh, Janet takes a, a bunch of damage. Are we doing anything that's strange? We're think? just, we're hovering and not doing anything proactive, you know? We're not getting anything out of this. Right, we're so... We're just walking what, around. What's your job as a uh, in the mid game as an AD carry? What do you think? So um, who's, who's behind you? <laughs> oh, that's my roommate. Oh, He's I just see. watching me play. Yeah. Um. So what's what's the job in the you said the mid game or the late game? Yeah, the mid game. What's your mid what's game? your priority as the AD carry in the mid game as a carry role? To always be doing something. Okay, uh, doing something practice. I mean, not proactive. Productive is good, but what's productive for an AD carry? Farming. Yes, you need to be pushing your waves, right? So mm -hmm. what, what's what's going on in this picture? You guys are losing waves, bot and mid. So Ari has to pick a lane, right? You got to pick the other lane. So so if I go bot, but let's there. let's say I was bot here, then they just get barren because I'm too far away to go over. Right, that's why they send the uh, top laner to go bot, right? But let's say no one's going, right? Then we need to push mid, and if they start it, we're gonna come. Remember that the team that starts barren is at a disadvantage, right? They're just okay. dying. They're literally dying to the Baron. I mean, I don't need. To, they don't have a tank, right? So we'd hope they start Baron. Um, and you, but if you guys like, uh, what's it called? If you guys like do this, what's the average case? Nothing happens. Mm -hmm. and you guys lose minions. That's literally the average case, right? These guys, you guys just currently losing minions. Um, not only that, but if a Baron happens, your jungle can always steal as well, right? Yeah. So yeah. you guys have a lot of options, right? It's not like uh, if you show bot, it's instantly gone. That's more like a 50-minute, 40-minute idea where you can't show because they instantly kill it, right? These guys are going to take a little while to kill Baron for sure. Um, so yeah, we just haven't... Notice just like in the last few minutes, we haven't gotten a single CS, right? Right, and yeah, that is a, another issue is I feel like I sort of slow down on farming whenever... Because I'm always trying to run with the team because if they fight and I'm not there, then I always feel like it's my fault. Right, you got to spam back ping when your team's not supposed to be there, right? Okay, everyone Baron right now. Spam Baron. No! This is probably not good. Why would I say this is not as good as Baron? Uh, Because if we get Baron, we can empower recall, stop Hecarim, and then we can push mid later with Baron. Uh, True. I would say that the uh, bigger idea is that if you do it's this, you need to get the inhib versus the Baron, right? Um, yeah. To make this worth, you guys got to get an inhibitor, right? Uh, so, oh, oh, he kills himself. So that, you guys are getting an inhibitor here. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'll say not bad. Oh, what's going on? Why are we staying? Oh, you definitely can't get Baron now. Unless you killed someone, right? Oh, what is going on? What in the world? <laughs> you guys can win this, I'm pretty sure. Uh... 
Okay, I think it's fine. Um, Hecarim's just doing Hecarim things. Do we base? What do you think? Should you have base? Um, I feel like both inhibitors were probably already gone, so maybe Baron was just a better call. Right. I just didn't know if he was gonna end or not. I didn't know. I, if I look at the death timers, it looks like Darius might have. It would have been up before he ended. So, I think it's fine. Baron might have been too risky because Sivir's gonna walk up and Hecarim's gonna come from behind. So, I think it's fine to base. Uh, we're definitely still okay in this game. We're like. Oh yeah, I think this guy just puts everybody on me. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is fine. This is winning. Oh, yeah. you did not play like it was. Uh... <laughs> so let's talk about this. What happened here? I walked on top of Zach and get on. Right. I mean, I guess we're still well, winning here, but right. uh, in terms of our team fight discussion, how should you play team fights? Play like we're we're losing until it's a clear win. Yes. Right. So this is two v four. Play like you're losing until it's a clear win. How do we know it's a clear win when you start insta-killing people, right? Right. So here, not a clear win yet. So I'll sit like in this bush. Mm -hmm. Right. You always have time to run in with E or ulti or flash. Doesn't matter. But if you put yourself in a spot where it's like Dunzo, it's going to be Dunzo. <laughs> you know? Like this, I'm pretty sure he could have killed you right here, right? You got you to you knock up here. Yeah. Right here. Silver just hits you a few times. We got problems. Right? I was I was actually um, lucky I hit E at that time because I was actually... Oh, yeah. You went, you went invisible, right? So, um, yeah. You got to play like you're losing. Um, okay. Darius is not supposed to be here. This is awkward. Okay. I hope you guys can get Baron. Go, go, go. Jesus. This Hecarim is doing Hecarim things. You got to go Baron. What's going on? Trying to stop this guy. Oh. Oh, oh you're okay here. Now, this game is pretty sad. All right. Now, this is actually important because you have no towers, but uh, you just got to push out waves until um, you have inhibs up. Oh, this is really awkward. Are they doing it? They finished it? Let's see. What happened here? Uh, they haven't done it yet. I think they're doing it now. So they just did it, and then oh. they're just on it. Feels bad. So it seems like this game wasn't completely your fault you shouldn't you didn't play poor enough for you to lose this you know what i'm saying it was just uh hecarim was doing <laughs> they were like winning by split pushing and uh we had some mid-game throws but that was about it right From what yeah I'm it just you know i feel like if those plays maybe I, you know like i said like you said if i would have pinged back or something i probably could have done something you know right, you can always influence the game in that way oh you're dying here if you oh okay this is winning this is winnable oh never mind you have no towers feels bad so yeah, I would not worry about this game except for your mid-game ideas and your wave management, right? In terms of we're not doing something productive, we should be pushing out waves, right? And in terms of what do we do mid-game, don't hit tower or start dragon, right? Right. Does that make sense? Yep. The other, the, other, the fighting and stuff, okay, maybe we had some like tunnel vision problems or whatever, but wait, did I not do that right? 141. Let's see. Any questions, by the way, while we're looking at these? No, I I think I I realize, like, what I can do. You know, I, I have to start using, like, back ping more usually. Right, right. When you see oh. something that you know is just donezo, spam back ping. I think this one I might have got poked out a ton. I don't know. Let's take a look. So remember our discussion on matchups, right, and right. consistency. What do you want to do in this matchup, and what do they want to do? So they want to poke, but we've got sort of poke sustainish, and we've got a well. So I'm Draven, so I like to all in and trade, right? So, mm -hmm. um, Nami's good for that, but we also have the sustain from the poke, that brand. Right. So you want to all in and trade, and they want to poke slash catch you, right? Why would I say they have catch? Uh, because of the, um. Uh, What's her name? Zaya, the Zaya E, and then the stun from Brand. Right, skill shot CC and skill shot CC. Right, so how? Uh, why'd you win this? Simple terms. They couldn't catch you, and you all in. Right, it's easy. Right, it's straight up, straight matchup ideas. It's very simple. Can be explained. You can explain. Ex ex you can explain every lane like this, which is actually really useful. Right. Um, okay, this is the classic. Jungle comes after a fight. I think you just walk away here. You shouldn't hit this guy. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, we can kill this guy. Uh, he's either dead or he's not. He's gone. No no mana, yeah. That's fine. You base. What? You didn't base? 
What's going on here? Uh, what, they were pushing face? cannon wave, and I feel like it would hit the tower before I got back, you know, and I'd All miss right. cannon. You are going to miss cannon if you base. What happens if you don't base? Uh, higher chance of me dying. You just lose and everything throw else. that lead, yeah. All right, you, you have no mana. You have no HP. So you have to base no matter what, essentially, right? Um, unless, yo, unless he didn't push it in. What the hell? <laughs> You couldn't push it in fast enough. Nerve. I mean, hey, base. Nah, staying here seems okay now. Uh, but you just don't know mana, so it could be really awkward if uh, you guys try and do something. Uh oh. Okay. If I said basing here could be really bad, why is that? He Brian can freeze it in front right. of the tower. So let's say you guys want to break this freeze and Eve comes. How do you stop that? Uh, if we try to break the freeze, we have to push it all the way in to right. get it back to reset. But that puts us in that gankable zone where Eve just shows up out of nowhere and shits on us. Right. So we're afraid to push this in because Eve's going to gank us, right? Right. So where's your jungler right now? Uh, he's on scuttle. So he's like pretty close by, right? Mm -hmm. Within one lane's distance. So we say, oh. Just ping, we're doing this, we're pushing, and then you guys are good to go, right? But uh, uh, one of the one of the rules for AD carry um, is that if you have a choice to miss minions or not miss minions, you always almost choose don't miss the minions. Right. Right. Because we're just losing minions right now in terms of uh, uh, they're all dying to the tower slash um, their minions. So it's really awkward, but seems like they didn't freeze. So you guys are okay. You didn't, you didn't get punished, but that's like one punish you can do. Like you said... You wanted to learn. You wanted to work on um, wave management and lane, right? Uh, that's like one of the things you should watch out for. Is what? Do, what do I do if they freeze, or what do they do if I freeze? In that sense, oh, they're right. just dying here. And you know, like if I ever, you know, end up getting in a higher rank, I'm going to be punished more for if I keep doing that type of shit. So, right. But you, even at this rank, shit. you can yeah. punish. You can punish these guys, right? right. They, they have no idea what they're doing. So, okay, shove this in. Sure. Uh, do you really need to buy something here? Um, probably not, but... Right. So what's the punish here if you base? They hard shove and then I would miss that wave. Right, exactly. Which is exactly what's happening, right? So, um... You only want to base when you have a big reason to. So let's say, in this example, we would say our big reason is we need boots to dodge their catch. Right? Yeah. And you'll say that's worth the base right now. But you have to have some kind of logical reasoning because randomly basing is going to lose you a lot of minions, I promise. That's something I used to do all the time. Um, this guy's just dying to cut this queue. Feels bad. Shirt, sure. fast forward. Uh, brand is mid, so you guys are happy. Sure, 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 sure. So far, so good. Uh, this guy's trading, so Eve is probably here. You can kill his ass. Oh, you can just flash for this. Okay, I think that's winning. That's fine. This is still fine. Uh, nice, nice, nice. So you say you end up losing this game? Uh, yeah, I think it starts. Uh... I mean, these games start out pretty good. So I think it's all mid game. I don't. I think yeah, you don't. I... You don't need to worry about landing or anything like that. From what I what I can tell, not yet, at least. If anything, one of the biggest uh, things you should look at is. Creating, making sure you avoid disastrous situations like we're trying to siege randomly. That's not good. Or we're trying to do dragon randomly. Oh, we're, we're, okay, let's talk about this. What happened here? Uh, I'm just getting too cocky. And, uh, uh, I mean, I dodged the stun, but then I'm just taking tons of damage from everywhere else. Right. It's actually, I don't know if you dodge a stun or, I could say you actually did dodge a stun, right? But, did you need to do something like this? No. I definitely probably should have just kept the wave uh, in the middle and then deny the farm. But right, I'll say something like this is uh, you want to increase your accuracy in terms of... Uh, not accuracy, and consistency. Like, let's say something, you're going to use heal to dodge his Q. I think that would be very high consistency, right? Mm -hmm. But just walking or... Yeah, I would say just walking is... Monka, it, it is pretty cocky, I would say, though. Something like that could be uh, could be a potential for throw, you know? Right. Wait, what's going on here? How come we didn't push? 
Uh, Evelyn just used the uh, her ult, but she still could be. And uh, I have no mana. You're very okay. true. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you now. All right, she's getting all her HP back. You can't really stop her. I think it's fine. She's good to base. Sure, sure, sure. I think most of what you want to look at is definitely mid-game and, and fighting ideas, right? Wow, you're just running them down. He misses one Q and they're just fucking dead. Oh, maybe. Oh, shit. Yeah, and I think that's oh, in the situation where, no. you know, this is where oh, the throw comes. No. Oh, no. All right, let's watch this. All right, let's talk about this. So I get a few. I think I get one or two autos, but at that, I probably should have just left it. Right. Why is that? How many people are here? What do you think? Um, so we don't know where Eve is, so she could be here. And since mm -hmm. I'm fed, usually the jungler camps their ass. So uh, at this point, I already got the I got the auto attack, so I win, or I already won. So you know, just take the wins and then not try right. to throw. It's it's more like um, you're right in that. Oh, you know, in hindsight, we should just pieced after we got the free hit, right? But uh, in terms of making like a, a habit of making sure we don't fall into this uh, this trap, well, actually we see Eve top, so we know it's two v two. Actually, um, we need to we need to uh, you need to know beforehand what you're trying to do. So let's say beforehand you're like, if Zaya walks up, I'm gonna walk up auto and bounce. That'd be pretty simple to execute, right? Mm -hmm. But let's say uh, you're just playing, and then you're like, I can hit her, and then you see that mad damage, and you're like, oh, I can keep going, and then you just get hit by a random stun or something. You know, that's when the problems start to happen, right? Like this. Uh, uh, it's like... Yeah. Right, which is weird because he doesn't hit the stun. Oh, I guess they healed. Hey, so, she, already, she already used E right there. So I'm like, okay, yeah, cool. If I dodge the stun, we just win. In terms of matchup, um, does their matchup change? Does the matchup change at level 6? So let's uh, say... Yes. Right, so what, what part of their matchup gets better at level 6? Uh, Zaya is ulti. She just negates like if if an auto attack or an ult, my ult's coming in she just hits her r and then negates my complete you know the first part of my ult at least right and what about brand uh brand's ultimate you know if we're clustered together it's that passive or whatever right it's gonna bounce yeah. a million times yeah. right so they're all in got a lot better right so i think we're just disrespecting that fact because uh now the matchup is more of you want to trade still and you want to catch them in all in but uh, we're playing like it's before level 6. Because before level 6, yeah. we just run them down, right? Um, I wouldn't worry about this as much. It's just... Um, uh, it's just... You hate to see this happen. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, this is ideas of how do you play the matchup after level 6. Um, but honestly, I still wouldn't worry about that. I think you have bigger fish to fry when it comes to mid-game and late-game stuff. That's not going to lose you the game, right? How many times have you seen someone win lane and they just lose the game? <laughs> Yep. Every game, right? Uh, yeah, it happens so all the time. Lane matters more the higher rank you go. Uh, I think you're already doing a good job overall. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. I think we're uh, Monka S here though, right? What happened here? Um, I got hit with the W, but uh, I think we're just trying to force literally exactly what we just did. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. We're right, just, that's exactly what I'm going to say. We're just replaying <laughs> exactly what we just did. That's exactly what you're trying to do. So you guys get punished again, right? So what is this? Matchup ideas. What did you guys try and do? Randomly all in. You guys went all in? Not not anymore, right? So Yeah, I mean um, we did it in a minion wave too, so Right, that definitely doesn't help. So um uh, still you can take note that maybe post level six, first buy, matchup changes. You gotta double check, right? Um like for example, Bard's really important, right? What what does Bard get at level six? Oh, he gets more catch potential, for right. example, right? Or uh Ale or Leona, right? She gets more all in potential, right? Stuff like mm -hmm. that is really important. Um all right, sure. Let's watch this. Are you ready for Eve? Pause. I think you're ready for Eve, right? You're yeah, I think I, I think I can kill Eve if Nami's here and I have heal up. Okay, dragon. Sure. Okay, run mid. Sure. Okay. And then uh, hit this. I think that's fine. All right, how do you know you can siege here compared to the last game? Uh, We have four people here. Yes, you have more people. And you have an Evia who's really strong in siege situations. But really, the the people, the number of people matters the most. Oh, this is Monka S. What happened here? <laughs> uh, getting. I'm doing this repetitive oh, no. everything. It's the same thing. Hey, it's good. It's, a, it's a good thing that it's the same thing. Because all you have to do is fix it, and all these mistakes kind of disappear, right? 
So what's the problem with this? It's the same as last game. Uh, so we well we're getting tower, and then we just don't know where anybody's at. So as you saw, Karthus is behind the wall. So if I get a slow and then Eve comes behind us, I, I mean, we're pretty much dead. I don't have flash either, so. So in terms of uh, one of the things I can instantly give you to help you make sure that all these mistakes like this disappear is when you want to hit a champion, don't hit the champion. Don't even try and go for them. Press tap first. Okay. You got this itch to fight someone. You need to know where everyone is, right? So let's say you're trying to hit this guy and you have flash. You have to know that you're ready to flash brand stun over the wall. For example, right, right, because um, this is a, oh, this is why why is this such a big a deal? This is a hundred percent losing every 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 time, right? Is that they're sitting right here? You're always gonna lose no matter what, right? Um, if this is a brand right here, it's just over, right? Um, uh, it's not even brand, right? It's not even brand, and we still die. So, um, that's how you kind of fix it is make sure that you want to fight, check the map first, right? Um, because I think you've you've fallen for this trap like every time so far. So, uh, that's like the quick fix, okay? You wanna you got the urge to hit someone, look at the map first. Right? Because you are the you're like the strong draven that's supposed to go crazy, right? Right. So what happened? I went crazy and died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In a way, in a way, yeah. Um not that you wanna, you, you wanna go crazy in another way, right? So okay, going right. bot is really good here. Um same thing here, right? Who what are we who are you supposed to expect here? Uh Evelyn? Right. So you oh you have to be paranoid twenty four seven. I think that's like one of the biggest things you need to look out for is this idea of they are literally coming for you, right? Here, how many people are at this fight? This is 3v5, right? So you have to be ready. You have to know that this is a 3v5 before you take it, okay? Um, so yeah, okay, maybe you can get some people. I don't know about this one. Oh, okay, free kill. Maybe this guy's a free kill. Uh, but, you know, the end result is like, what face, right? Right. It's like, what's going on? No one, no one knows what's going on anymore. You guys are actually losing this fight. Fast forward, your team is dying, right? Team died. Um, how do we know beforehand? This is always that's always like the question. How do we prevent something like this? How do we prevent losing the fight? Or... How do we prevent? So this is a situation where the average case is that you lose, right? With like like seventy five percent certainty, you guys are losing, maybe even more. But the only reason why it's seventy five percent, not ninety, is because you're playing Draven. <laughs> so um, how do we know before it happens? How do we know ten seconds in advance? Looking at this picture right here. We just don't, we don't have the numbers, assuming that's everybody's it. here, right? That's it. You stop there. 3v5. Okay, you're losing. So that's how you know from the get-go. You don't want to do this. What would you have done differently if you saw Pantheon go in? You uh, don't go in with him. Right, okay. <laughs> you let him die. I was like, what are you doing, dude? That's why when you watch streams, people are like, what the fuck is this? Like, uh, I don't know. You throw an ulti, and that's, that's about it. Because... <laughs> Uh, you going to help is continuing a losing fight. Remember how we talked about um, losing fights and winning fights, and uh, if you continue a losing fight, you're just automatically losing. This is the, this is this example, right? Just cut the losses. Yeah, exactly. And then how do you know when you can help? Oh, you see Zaya and uh, who is it? Like Brand Mid. Brand. Yeah, you see Zaya Brand Whoever. Mid. Oh, we're good to go, right? Right. Uh, but until you see that, you can't do this, right? Um, uh, tell me if this sounds familiar. You see a fight break out. But you don't know where the top and jungle are. But you're like, I need to help them right now because I feel like this fight is going on for a while. You go help, and they come out from behind you. Yep. Yeah. Every, t every time. Every, right? every time. Um, what was the most prominent? Let me remember. Ah, oh, here we go. Olaf or Hecarim coming out from a bush, and you just fucking die, right? Yep. That was like last season. Oh, Rek'Sai, dude. That was that was yeah. a common one, too. Um, how about, uh, what's another spicy one? There's always uh, Camille TP. That one's pretty cancer, I think. Um all of those are still relevant today, right? I mean, as you right. can see. Um, Eve is probably the most cancerous right now. It's just get the shit out of my face, right? It's um, definitely, yeah, Eve, I, I can't stand it. it or especially <laughs> fiddlesticks. I, I usually yeah. kind of ban it every game. Right, and the reason I why guess. it works is because most players don't actively look for this. You need to actively look for this, and I think you'll do 10 times better. Because let's say... Um, you when you see everyone on the, everyone on the screen, you usually win. Is that accurate or not accurate? If we see everybody on the screen, if you can see people you're fighting, you usually win. Right. Right. Yeah, so, I, I, mean, I agree. Because because then you know I know you know where they're coming from. Blah blah blah. Right. Oh. And then if you don't see them, you almost always lose. Yeah. That sounds about right. Right. It does. So 
that's the that's the the big thing you wanna you wanna take a look at. Um, another thing you wanna take a look at is uh, which is also related is map awareness, right? How do we know that this is losing? Um, this we don't even need to know what happens. The average case is you die, right? Yeah. Well, so why, why is that? So uh, yeah, I guess I guess we do. I do die because uh, I think this is the point where Zaya just starts kind of. I feel like Zaya outscales Draven pretty hard. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, just her damage on her W is insane. Right, but you got that fat rapid fire one hit take out half her health. Yeah. But I think this is less about scaling and more about uh, it doesn't matter what champions you guys are playing. This is the average result 90% of the time. What, what's wrong with the picture here? We're trying to force a fight where we we actually, in this picture, we only see two people. So there, in reality, there could be five, which right? there's at least four. Right. And how many people do you have at most? Three. There I would say Panther and Yeah, yeah. Panther. Right. There are four. So 45. We don't need to watch. You guys lost. That's it. That's how you do it. So then you say, okay, what should we do? Damage control. You sit at tower and make sure you don't 4v5. <laughs> it's the big idea, right? Uh, at what point do you hope this if it's a 4v5? Early insta killed someone. Yeah. Right. And you're not afraid of Eve for whatever reason. So the reason why you die here is just just 4v5. Could you have mechanically played this better? I don't I mean I don't I don't know. It's impossible, right? I mean that was a nice hit on Eve and then you just die. Right. Yep. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. So it's just 4v5. You gotta. I think one of the biggest things you want to look at is map awareness and um, uh, macro ideas. Right. In terms of what you should be doing. So when I say what you should be doing, I mean like don't hit tower, push out your side waves. Right. Like here, why is going mid here bad? Because we're not, um, not we're good. sharing XP and sharing right. gold. Right. 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 What could you do instead? Um. See, I don't know. Be, I mean, I guess we could go bot, but then it goes back to the situation where Eve just Eve or Riven pops out of the bush and then we die because they right, just they, got Baron here. They just uh, they just based right. So average case is you go bot with Nami, you push as fast as you can, and you run, and only Eve okay. can catch up. So you're good yeah. to go, right? Um, but even then, even if they don't have Baron, you know, most of the time when you see the situation, the reason why you need a, you need to go bot is because are you losing minions bot currently? Yes. Right. I would agree. Right. But if it's pushing towards you, it's not a direct attention. You don't. You don't necessarily have to go just yet. Right. So the reason why we need it, you know, we need, we know you need to go bot is because you're losing minions and there's nothing else for you to do. Right. Yeah. Um, the only other thing to do is just leech XP from mid or fight for farm. It doesn't make sense. Oh, this is a good catch. You guys are still dying here though. Why? Because <laughs> of Brandle and we're just bigger picture. Bigger picture. More general. Or general numbers. 3v5. That's it. Oh, you stop yeah, there. That's true. So fast forward, this is not good, right? Someone died. <laughs> that's how we know. We need to predict the future based on literally looking at the map only. I don't know what happened to Pantheon, but he's just uh, in base or something. Yeah, that's the that's the the big idea. Is um, uh, you need to you need to look at the map, figure out how many people are here, and then that'll help you decide what to do. Because uh, that's like the step we need to do this first step before we can even talk about like. What's a good decision? What's not a good decision, right? Mm -hmm. um, and the second thing is, once you do that, let's say you don't know what to do, look to generate income, right? Um, and that's like, oh, we need to push out side waves, right? Push it. Have you heard the idea of push it past the river? Uh, no, I actually have not. Oh, okay, interesting. So, um, how do how does someone get ten CS a minute? What do you think? Uh, push a wave, run to another lane, or get keep farming jungle camps. If I say you could get 10 CS a minute without stealing someone else's lane, what would you say? Uh, push. I I like. I assume push past the river like you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You push <laughs> past the river, right? So the reason why we do this is because um. See, okay. Let's take a look. Look at this. Take a look at this top lane. Forget about what's going on in the screen. What's going on in the top lane right now? Uh, our waves push. And right. uh, it, well, it's building a huge wave, and then eventually it's going to crash into their turret. And right, so let's say this is not late game; this is mid game. Is this good or bad for you guys? The wave wise, or right, you guys. I, I, how many minions are you losing every time this happens? It's like three or four waves, right? Well, so like uh, CS? What, what are you What are you referring to, though? What do you mean? So let's say, um, let's say, let's go back to a picture here. Uh, okay, let's say you don't go by here. 
Okay. Okay. How many waves do you lose before the enemy team kills all your minions? Uh, two or three. It's like three, four, or five. Really? So it's gonna go all the way to their. It's gonna go all the way to their tower if they let it sit. You don't fix this, and they just they're just content to let your minions die or their minions die. You're losing thirty CS, twenty CS, right? And then what happens when they pick up that 30, 20 CS? Oh, that's a 50, 60 CS difference, right? Right. So that's okay. the, that's the, the bit, the, the, that's why people are like, oh, push it past the river is because you're losing minions if you don't, right? Okay. Generally speaking, of course, there are exceptions like uh, uh, maybe you lose minions or you're not losing minions, whatever. But the general idea is you don't want to lose minions. So you got to push if you have a choice. Let's say there's a 10 0 Rengar, you can't push. Okay, don't push, right? Right. Um, unless you have like some kind of counterplay, right? But basically, this game is kind of, uh, uh, the reason why you guys are just seems like you're unable to do anything is because you guys took too many 4v5s. Right. And yeah. uh, we we gave away our lead, but it's still winnable, I think. It's just we took so many fights that are impossible to win, you couldn't win this game. Right. Yeah, uh, I just kept like the big doing idea. the same. I did the same thing three times in a row, and it just resulted in, you know. Right. You try to hit someone well. you could see, and it doesn't really work that way. Right. It's not, it doesn't really work. You, you can't win like that. Um, so let's take a look at this last game and see what happens. But yeah, Eve is Eve is super cancer. I banned that shit. <laughs> yeah, see, there's just so much shit to ban. I just don't know what I want to ban. Oh, I usually ban against... fiddlesticks or morgue. And see what's going on here. Oh! If you're dead here, why? Uh, who's, uh, I don't, I didn't see the lane matchup. I couldn't remember. It's like Draven something, right? So, bam. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Usually speaking, this is losing. Unless I've you're level one. I've never seen anybody insane. sit in that bush, to be honest with you. Really? When yeah. you do see someone, you're going to be really upset. Let me tell you. You, this, you have nothing to lose by going the long way, essentially. So, you never like, uh, don't do this, right? Have you, have you walked through this tri bush and just like lost lane because of it? Yeah, I've, I've. They walk. I've been cheesed in that tri bush, but never in the the river bush. Right. Well, wait until you, wait until someone does it to you, and you'll be super upset. Trust me. <laughs> oh no, it's a disaster. All right. Anyways, um, you guys didn't get punished. That's good. But uh, remember, like the game is about being super paranoid. Right. Uh, if something can go wrong, it will go wrong every time. I promise you. Like, I mean, almost all the plays we saw, if it could have gone wrong, it went wrong. Right. Like, mm -hmm. oh, this guy's missing. He's coming right now. Oh, this is uh, this is losing now. You guys try to level two. You need to level up W if you want to win. It's too late now. I think you get blocked. Oh, never mind. You can win this guy. Oh, that's really awkward. You still can win, though. Why did I say that was really awkward? Uh, Because my, uh, my Q went towards... Uh... <laughs> Two yeah. of the minions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you killed some of the damage. minions. It's okay. You got you play that fine. I, we don't. This is we don't really want to worry about this stuff yet. We worry about the map awareness and decision making stuff. I think is the the things that will help you the most, right? This fighting idea, you are usually fine, except when I saw you play Draven. I think um, then you just tried to uh, hit people randomly. That was kind of awkward. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, what do we do? So if we say we're playing outside our matchup, why is that? They, what, what do you mean outside of the matchup? So we just, I'm trying to be aggressive whenever Draven's going to win that trade 90% of the time. Right, so uh, when we say play outside your matchup, we mean, let's say your matchup is trade and let's say you guys are catch and that's it. You guys can only catch. Right. Right. Uh, and you try and trade. That's playing outside your matchup because that's not what you're supposed to do. Right. Um, let's say you're playing, you're playing catch, you try and all in. Same thing. Right. You need like a you need like a reason to play outside your matchup. Like uh, he has ten health, so you can trade, for example, right? Okay. Or let's say you have three people, and so trading is a mistake, but you're just debating for your jungler, right? Um, so why is trading here a mistake? Uh, they've well, they've got more minions. The more has a clearer shot at catching me than Thresh does at Draven. There's a bigger reason for that, a more basic reason than that. But you're correct on all accounts. How do we know within half a second, really? Sure, even does more damage. Nah, yeah, that's it, right? He's <laughs> just gonna hit you and you lose. So I don't know how you're supposed to win. Like this could be Varus. He auto attacks ease. You're still losing, right? Yeah. This could be Ash. W auto attack. Still losing, right? Uh, I that's tend why to I... do that. I just trade whenever 
Right. Yeah. Trading uh, whenever. Yeah. It's not a good, that's, that's part of uh, the consistency talk is that um, it doesn't really work that way. Right. It's punishable. So I think we do get punished here. Right. Bam. That's what feels bad. Uh, wow. Wow. This is actually turning really bad. Right. Uh, see what I mean? Yeah. It's just matchup. Yeah. That's it. Uh, the reason why I was close is why do you think it was close? Morgana's not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's like fucking running, dude. Uh, is she, yeah, uh, she kind of fucked up, right? But uh, yeah, the only reason why I was close is because it's like one v two. But uh, you guys still got fucked, so um, that just goes to show. You know what I'm saying? Um, did you even land? Did you land this W? No, no it hit a minion. Oh uh, yeah, okay. I was like, there's no way, right? So you see what I mean, though, right? When it comes to matchup ideas, that's how yeah. we know who wins every single time. Oh my god, that hook. Disgusting. Yeah, that was ridiculous. That was nuts. But yeah, um, you try to play outside your matchup, instant punish, right? Similar to how uh, that Draven game, you after level 6, you play outside your matchup, instant punish, right? Like, let's say level 6, what happens? So, at level 6, you know, does their all-in get better? What do you think? Yeah, Morgana can just flash R, and then uh, oh, yeah. Black Shield, either herself or Draven, so... Yeah, their all-in is definitely lose. insane. And then, how about you guys? You guys change? You guys do anything different? Um, I think level six, we just lose versus them. I well, think Draven's... if you land, if you land hook, right? If you land catch, right? And you land W, right? Like, like this, this is winning. How do we know? Matchup. You guys caught it. Because up. we got it. Yeah, we got a hook. That's it. It's just pure matchup ideas, right? So literally everything in lane can be explained with matchup. For now, you gotta have to get to like, you'd have to start playing against OCS players for it to be different. I'm serious, right? Um. All you need to do is no matchup, and you're winning every single lane. Or at least you're going even, right? Um, but yeah, let's skip ahead, because I think you are fine on this point, right? Oh, this is just like, he is killing people now. Oh, my God. So yeah, I think Kai'Sa, you're doing really good on Kai'Sa. If there's anything to look at, it's less about mechanics and more about what are you doing in the mid-game, right? What are you doing in the late game, that kind of stuff. So let's fast forward. Let's see what's going on here. Da, 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 da. Any questions, by the way, on what we talked about or anything else? No, I mean it, it. Like watching things back, I can you know clearly see you know what's what's going wrong and like you explaining things. Um, regard you, you know like whenever you're saying if, if there's any doubts about winning fight, then it's probably a loss. Right, right, right. right. Play like you're losing. No, how do we know we're winning? He's just... <laughs> <laughs> he tried to get out. Holy shit, that's so funny. Oh, yeah, my God. Kill him I at thought, the last second. From, like, D5 to D3, I thought it would change once I got out, but it's literally still fucking Fiesta every <laughs> single game. Dude, that's not going to change no matter what rank you get at. Trust me. Um, okay. What's going on here? Oh, wow. You guys are really choosing to dive. Better flash W here. Oh, wow the hell let me watch this he was aggro or uh thresh was aggro he kept aggro so i could kill oh he dropped an axe i was like why is it so one-sided oh yeah fucking yeah. dropped an axe oh my god all right i think you still would have won but it would have been a lot closer sure if you saw everyone on the map you literally have to say if someone pings for this dive okay where's their jungle where's their yeah where's their jungle so where's their jungle um I don't think we know. So yeah, I, I our jungle's either. top, so if they're here, oh. we it's a 2v2. <laughs> you have to know Kha'Zix showed up right now before you go for this dive. So this is a pretty, uh, pretty boost, you know? Yeah. I would not I would not go for this if I uh, saw this, unless I knew where Kha'Zix was, right? So it's same thing, map awareness. So how do we make sure that this becomes a habit? Anytime you want to do something, look at the map, how many people are here. That's the thing that I help you the most, right? It's just like make that habit just like solid iron. Okay, like an iron rule before you do anything. You want to push mid? Look at the map. How many people are here? All right. You want to dive? Look at the map. How many people are here? All right. Literally anything. All right. You want to go top? Okay. What's what's the plan? How many people are here? Okay. Seems like no one. Good to go. Yeah, I agree. I need to make that a habit because I'm tired of like getting fed like this and throwing. Yeah, and there's the random. Ah, look at this. Randomly dying. Right. How many people are here? Well, they got everyone, and you guys have no Dark, one, so. Dark Harvest Kha'Zix. <laughs> yeah, dude, the Kha'Zix. They're literally any jungler, let's be honest. Fucking Rengar Kha'Zix. Yeah. It's all stupid. It's all the same stupid shit, okay? It could be Sejuani, ulti you in the face, right? Skarner ulti. Oh, that was a fun one. Skarner ulti. Um, yeah. 
So this is the problem is that that you're having is this one idea. Map awareness. How many people are here? Oh, actually, no, two ideas and the fighting idea. Okay, losing. Uh, you could work on that too. But I would say this map idea, map awareness idea, is the one that's losing you games, if anything, right? Because like, look, it's always this. It's actually the same thing. All three games, right? The first two games, you try to hit tower, everyone died, you lost mid. This game, you try to ward when you have less people, everyone died, you lost mid, right? Um, it's kind of the same thing that's happening. So, uh, so like with Kazakhs being pretty much just as fed as I am, is that uh, I mean, obviously it's still winnable because it's Kaisa, right? So we right, just, right. I could still clean up. It's just me playing better than him. Pretty. Is... Um, I don't think it's like a direct correlation like that. It's more like a uh, who will make better moves and less mistakes. And then, you know, whoever is making mistakes is losing, right? So we're dead here if we're not careful. Oh, how do we know we die? <laughs> um, No one's near me. At least, at least 2v1. I mean, this looks like you got four people, right? But this right. fight is super fast, and you're getting one shot. So that's how we know this is yep. losing, right? I can't believe he didn't die here. What the hell? I don't think he was in range for W. Right, right, right. What if he flash Ws? Then right. I'm dead. I mean, how many times have you seen this? Syndra flash Q ulti. Oh, goodbye, right? Right. Um, or what's another one? Oh, Mazahar flash ulti. That happened to me. <laughs> that yeah. happened to me today. Uh, so, you know, you, ha you really do have to play paranoid, okay? You have to, like, if you don't... Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold the phone. Whew! Okay. Good thing that Morgana insta died. You're dead to Kha'Zix if you're not careful, though. So, I would say... Uh, I think this whole game was just me versus Kha'Zix, to be honest with you. Mm, Kha'Zix showed up, but... Okay. See, look, we have... Uh, we have no problems finishing a winning fight. Rarely do people have problems finishing a, a winning fight. They have problems when it's a losing fight or the enemy team has more people, right? It's just brain-dead easy to just run it down 5v4, right? But it's really right. hard to win 4v5. So, uh, that's, that's just... <laughs> oh, someone's dying here. Uh, goodbye. It's just uh, the big the big idea is really making sure you set yourself up to never lose, right? So, after this, we're going to take a look at one of my replays. And it's also Kaisa, so I think it'll help a lot. Okay. But we're going to take a look at what I do and see if we can spot differences. So, same thing here. What happened here? Good. Um, We already lost the fight, pretty much. So, it's at least... 4v5 so there's no reason we should even right i'll say draven i'll say draven's top but this is you oh, you pretend you're yeah. losing right 4v4 is considered losing still right unless you know you're winning does not look like your guys are winning this right so yeah you definitely want to run um monka s oh my just god fucking... i didn't even realize how much that fucking did That's oh ridiculous. you guys are dying here oh you guys are all dead here right you should be all dead here it's literally 4v3 so walking out this is a classic mistake. Everyone walks out, like, 4v5. Like, how many times have you seen this? Someone dies. You get Baron, but someone on your team died. Everyone sieges mid, and then everyone dies because 4v5. I've seen that so yeah. many times. Yeah. It's disgusting, right? Um, so unless you one-shot someone here, you guys are losing. Ooh, okay. I, I would say that's that's pretty that's pretty one-shot-like. Oh, 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 oh. Speaking of one-shots, no way. He got stunned, but wow. I attack moved and hit a damn minion. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, he's win this fight. Sure. Push and run. You want to base right after this tire? Oh, no. He's just, he's just trying yeah. to guys. He just staying base. too long is a lot of the issue, too. Right. Honestly, I don't think we've gotten to see any of that because we're usually in a losing spot. But see, going by here is fine because if they start barren, they're dying, right? Um, so I hope they start Baron here. And you just run straight. Yeah, see they're starting Baron, they're taking a million damage. Oh. We can talk about this. So how do we know this is usually winning? This is usually winning? Right, how do you know? So they took a bunch of damage from Baron and then backed off to try to fight us? Mm, right, you know I mean? right. Um, but more generally speaking, this is a 5v5, right? Right. Why is the why is the red team currently losing or at a disadvantage? What are they doing that makes them losing here? They're walking into two v three. Uh, let's pretend this is five v five, right? Five v five. So what's not, going on? Not really sure. If this guy is singed, does that ring any bells? They're chasing. They're chasing, right? The team where they're chasing has an inherent disadvantage because they're gonna get hit in the face by a skill shot. Oh, look at that, right? So you guys are technically winning this, right?
So if you watch, you know, average case is you guys win unless something crazy happens, right? So uh, looks looks not bad. Just get in here, right? Seems good. Oh, we should flash. Oh, that's really awkward, but it's still fine. And it went relatively even. You guys would have won if you killed that guy, right? I would say. Right. Yeah. So that's how you know. Um, oh, what's going on? You found him. <laughs> he found you, I guess. You have hourglass. You can't lose this. Oh, you can lose this. Uh, okay, what happened here? Uh, I was watching mid. Right. Uh, same thing about being paranoid. They're in every bush until you see otherwise. Have you heard of Schrodinger's gang? Both exist and doesn't exist at the same time. <laughs> right. Um, that's how you should. That's how you should play league. Okay. Um, so yeah, you guys found a even or winning fight, but then I feel like uh, we couldn't close it out. I think it's fine. It's just sometimes, sometimes it happens that way. I would not worry about that yet. Okay. Just focus on numbers advantage and stuff like that. Oh no! What are we doing here that we did the other game? Uh, starting the dragon. <laughs> see, you see patterns, right? Now you see yeah. patterns in in terms of your own gameplay. This is a you is hundred percent losing. You fast forward, everyone's dying to get Baron. Um, fast forward, fast forward. Yeah, they, everyone dies. Oh, they already had Baron, I guess. So we don't need to watch this. It's just we already know that the mistake is yep. trying to do something. It doesn't make sense. Um, and then at this point. Game's pretty far gone, but maybe you can salvage it, I think. Um, let's watch. Oh, this is not good. Ooh. Nope. You might be dying here. You guys are losing this for sure. Everyone run. All right. I think at this point, it's kind of almost too late, right? So, sure, you have a good score, but uh, if we do fights that... If we take fights that are just 100% losing for our team, average case, this is, this is just going to be the result, right? Like... Every time we thought something was winning or losing, it's basically, it happens every time almost. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like with 90% yeah. certainty. You need some kind of exception to happen, like someone gets one shot, okay? So let's take a look at one of these Kaiser replays. This one probably counts. I just I literally just played this game. So let's see. Same position as you, right? You have like a million kills. Oh, yeah, almost the same thing. We have 14 kills. All right, let's take a look. So let's, let's, let's fast forward to some um, mid-game stuff. I think that's going to help you the most. What do you think? I oh, like oh, baby. Take a look at this. What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> You're getting in range where he can just kill you. He's going to ulti right. me, and right. they have more people. So what happens? Oh, he ultis me, and they have more people. <laughs> uh, it's the same thing, right? It's literally the same thing. Um, I thought I could get out, but I was just legit straight boosted, right? And then, oh, what happens? We lose mid, right? Does this sound familiar? Yeah. <laughs> Does this sound familiar? Yeah, it's, it happens to everyone, but... uh. Making sure that we uh, we know what's going on is always important, right? Okay, here we go. We go by here, right? This is pretty clear. We need to push out our waves, right? Mm -hmm. um, shirt push us out. How far do we push out? Past the river. Right, if possible, past the river. So we're going to do that. So fast forward, pushing out past the river. Uh, we need to keep going, right? Because uh, if we don't keep going, are we losing minions? Uh, if we if you don't keep going are you losing minions right if we if everyone quits the game what happens to the bot lane uh which, which way keeps, is it pushing it keeps pushing towards uh them right it? so that's yeah. how you know you're losing minions can you prevent that from this picture yes i would say i would agree right um thresh lantern's coming in we have both sums i think we're fine right so if um, we just push one more wave you think and then get out right, right. we should be fine why do we not do that they're starting dragon. All right. So, well, is this a familiar story to you? So, whoever starts the dragon. <laughs> Randomly is starting it? dragon is losing. Yep. Right? Check it out. Oh, he just fucking died for no reason. Right? Oh, we got a 600 gold shutdown. Hey, they got air dragon. Is it worth? Uh, no. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't make sense. Okay. So, you'll see that's at any any level of play. Um, All you have to do is, is figure out how to punish it. Right? And then, oh, look at that. We're losing minions, so we got to push bot. Right? So it seems good, right? So far, so good, right? Right. You don't go mid here, right? Why is why do we not go mid here? Then we'll just share XP and gold. True. Okay, what else? There are three uh, reasons, and you just said one of them. Other than that, I'd, why wouldn't you go mid to funnel yourself more gold? I bet that correlates to, you know, sharing gold and XP. Right. We're losing minions bot. I guess we already did say that. So that's oh, the second okay. reason. Yeah. The third is, if we hit tower, can we get it? 90% of the Probably time. Probably not. Although, I would agree. Miles of heart. Yeah, I mean, it would be, if everybody came, it would be 4v5. You might be able to get it. 
All right, but the average case in sieging is losing, right? Unless you have a clear reason why you're winning. Like when we say clear reason, we mean like we got we got Zareth, Lux, and we got fucking Blitzcrank, and they are missing a person. Okay, everyone run mid because we're gonna throw something at them. And it's gonna stick, right? In this okay. case, what do we got? I don't know. It have to be at least an insect, Poppy from behind. For a solo queue, it's not happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot For of solo facts. queue, no way. Um, I would only see if we had some kind of comp like I just said, right? And then, oh, we can hit this tower because how do they approach me without me being able to tell, right? And then, right. Uh, oh, we hit, we're not really trying to hit tower. We're just trying to bait them to coming down here, right? So, and we just leave. Sure. Okay, maybe we can camp, right? This is one of the things you can do after you push, steal camps, right? Everything revolves around making money as, a, as an AD mm -hmm. carry, right? Um, sure, 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 sure. Kill all these things. Maybe they'll push out if we're lucky. We don't really care what happens Rift Tower. That's like nothing to do with us, right? All that matters is that we know where they are. So, okay, go back to pushing bot because you're trying to make money, right? Could we have let bot stay this way? Is it pushing towards me or them? Um, I think it would push towards you guys, wouldn't it? Yes, because, it would. Yeah. Right? So why are we clearing this? So we can push it in further and that doesn't right. happen. We keep right. the lanes pushed past the river like you said. Well, we're not losing minions, so we're fine leaving this but do we have what What else are we going to do what do you think nothing really yeah. i mean yeah you could, like you said you could go mid but then it could end up in a losing result all right there's nothing to do mid so um rift tarot is too far away so we gotta push right um we have nothing else to do so we'll push and, and fight for the tower which i guess no it one's coming looks for. pretty free yeah uh, yeah see five people you see five people oh we can hit this what about tp we can tv one tp so that's how you know there's literally no way for them to stop you right that's that's how you know you're making good decisions. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> that's how you know you're making a uh, uh, at least a winning decision or at least a decision that can't be beat. Is that they have no way to stop you, right? Okay. Uh, clear this wave. Still, they still have no way to stop you. Okay. Uh, probably going for that tower is probably dicey because they're missing, right? Right. Uh, fast forward. Oh, we're trying to do something spicy here, but I'm pretty sure it gets spotted out, right? Oh, Mocha S. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. What were you saying? Uh, I was just gonna say. Do you normally go Rage Blade first? Uh, right now, I think Rage Blade first is probably better due to the Storm Razor nerfs, right? Okay. Unless you're going some kind of crit build, um, AP Kais is actually really disgusting, right? All how right. come we didn't go for this this red buff? When I pinged it, how come I didn't go through? Um, you they have more numbers. Obviously, it's in their jungle, it. so that yeah, they have more numbers, right? You can't how can you get it without throwing? Right. <laughs> Poppy no teleport. You know, people want to base. It's not happening. So we just bounce, right? Uh, base and go mid is your default. And then you figure out what you're supposed to do. So Victor base, we're going to clear mid, right? And fast forward. Oh, okay. What's going on here? Trying to catch the graves. Right. So why why, why can't we do this? Because you're fed out of your mind. No, 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 no. If I have 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, I'll still do this. 0, 0, 3, 0. Um, because you have catch potential with Thresh? Better than that. We have better. We have a better reason than that. What did we just see right here? Uh oh, Malzahar base. So how many people are coming to this fight? Uh, two. Yeah, two or three. Three, two, three. They have three, right? They have, they three. have three. Or if you count TPs, you know they have four. Right. And then how about us? Uh, you have four plus TP if you have it. Yeah, so four or five. Okay, that seems pretty good, right? You are either winning or hard winning, I think, right? Because right? they're face checking as well, right? Mm -hmm. So this is this is winning or hard winning. So we just sit here. I think he knows, right? So he's just dancing around, or he's suspicious. So oh, free damage seems good to me, right? And then if you can't find anything, we're going back mid. We're going we're going back to push, right? So let's see what's going on. So notice that we are sharing mid, right? right. What's the difference here? You can get the tower this time, and you have pressure topside, so no one can collapse, really. Uh, I don't know about pressure topside, but they can't walk this way because we just cut them off. Right. So this is kind of right. this is kind of like uh, uh, kind of advanced, but uh, when in doubt, you just go top here, right? So we just knew that we could do this. So we had, there's an exception to the rule of we need to make sure that we're not losing minions because we're losing minions top. It's gonna push towards them, right? So we gotta right. get something now and then go back and fix that. So let's fast forward. What's going on? Okay. Oh, we think we can help this guy. He's within one lane's distance, right? So we're gonna go help him. Sure. 
how do we know we can help him? We saw four people mid, right? Yep. So we gotta make we gotta make this happen quick. So he dies, sure. Right? Notice how you know we don't really take four v fours, two v twos. It's literally we always have an advantage, right? Yeah. And then I oh, that. I think Thresh is uh, <laughs> getting. I think caught. Thresh is dying. Oh, I can't help that, right? He's he's fucking dead. So sure, we finish killing these, and then uh, maybe we'll look for something here. But you know, this is four v four, right? Three v three, whatever. Two people are dead, and we don't have no poppy. So this ah, this is three v four. We gotta run, right? At what point right. do you stop running? When uh, you to, know you can fight. Right. You have to. They, they blow like a big um, ability. For you example, have some. Lulu some reason. Ult? Right. Yeah. You we have some logical reason. This is actually really. I'll say this is questionable, right? Why is this questionable? Uh, two v three. Uh, yeah, it's three v well, four right now, right? Yeah. But, uh, we didn't really uh, factor in like if Lee Sin hadn't queued him, this is losing for sure. <laughs> so we got lucky, I would say. This is pretty lucky in terms oh, of um. I didn't even realize Malzahar was around mid. Oh yeah, he's coming right. So this is not good. We should have waited even longer, right? You can't help your team, but somehow we combine forces and then notice how we have no idea if we're winning, right? So we're just mm -hmm. gonna run. We're just gonna run, right? If you have no idea, it usually means you're losing. So, and then if they keep chasing, you, you you think just go into the tri bush and then try to do something there, or right, 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 right. Remember, chasing is a disadvantage. So if you're, you're playing like you're losing, you should be running. And then if they chase you, you know you're getting an advantage for free. Oh, someone killed himself. So that's really awkward. <laughs> still trying, still trying to run. You know, um, everyone run. So it seems almost like your game, except that we didn't die, right? Right. The, it's the exact same, honestly. It's just massive disadvantage. Okay, how come we turned around there? What do you think? Um, if you didn't, you would probably die. No, we're fine, right? I'm not really sure. You had Thresh. Yeah, Thresh is on the way. So if they kept yeah. chasing, three v three. So it's still back to the numbers idea, right? Um, not sure if we can 100% win, but I know we can look for three v three. They're chasing, right? But uh, turns out there's nothing there, so everyone runs, right? And then we're good to go, right? Everyone's everyone's happy. So under no, there is no time when I was able to be killed, right? Okay, just literally playing, impossible. Playing calculated. Right, 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 right. Literally everything we do is unbeatable in a sense, right? Okay, we can push this out. We should be relatively safe, right? We just saw Malzahar. Um, should be good. Okay, getting red. Fine, fine, fine. Any questions, by the way? We push it past the river, right? Uh, yep. Okay, I see that now. Uh, here you just back because there's nothing else to do, and you've, oh. you're sitting on two k. Something's happening, so oh. we, we got to cancel. Yep. And then uh, after we kill the guy, we're running, right? It's always the default is always losing. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna change states, winning, losing doesn't matter. But if you have no idea, it's always losing. Okay, that's like a big idea, right? Like we see this guy. Okay, we can kill Tristana, then we got to run, unless you see something else, right? I don't really see anything else here. So. No. Fast forward, okay. This is very similar to your game where you're really strong. So how do we convert this into a win? Oh shit, what are they doing? <laughs> They're starting dragging dragon. Randomly again and, starting yeah. dragon, dude. Oh, oh that's a baron. <laughs> right. So you see it's a uh it's the same thing every game, you know? It's just if you can see these patterns, you can kind of uh use it to your advantage, right? So yeah. sure, we're gonna go to Baron. Oh. How can we know we can uh Run this Malzahar down. He just teleported with nobody near him, really. I mean, besides right. the people mid lane. So there are two reasons. We have more people, uh, theoretically, and we have a way to beat his ulti, so we can just go, right? But notice that the big idea is that we have more people. So, oh, free kill. I guess we're just going to go bear now. Oh, this guy kills himself. Seems good. Yeah, what the hell? Oh. And then we do Baron yeah. after everyone dies. Yeah, uh, You know, why do we win this fight? <laughs> Uh, because you made a play based off of uh, better know, reason. There's a better, better reason. reason. Yeah. What oh. do we, we win that fight? More numbers. Yeah, that's it. You have more people. It's the same thing over and over again. Okay. Yep. It's literally the same thing over and over again. You give them no chance. You literally give them no chance to fight, right? Um, and if they have a chance to fight because there are more people, then you got to run, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Look at this example. Look at this example. Okay. What happened here? Uh, Thresh is getting caught, but so they have more people. There's at least four people there, five, if, since we don't see the other person. So right. you just run. So we should be in range 
we should be in range to uh, uh this should be a 4v5 right so this is losing and thresh face check so he's insta dying right this is definitely losing everyone wants to get out of here i'm just trying to i'm just trying to find something here okay it looks so good that I decided, you know, we can look for it, but the instant it doesn't work anymore, we stop, right? We just took away half his health and we're done, right? And there's no, more, there's nothing else. Okay, maybe we can help this, but, you know, the average case is losing, right? So you want to stop, you want to stop doing this, whatever this is. Well, that was pretty monka s, right? Okay, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Okay, how, how, what's going on here? Push, uh, pushing past the river. Right, Just we're pretty so greedy here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, it's all the same idea, right? Don't you think? Yeah. No, I agree. The only reason why we don't have two forty is because there's so much fighting. Oh wow, this is uh, this is crazy. Oh, seems about right. Oh, someone's not happy in this game. <laughs> seems good. Seems good. I think it's because we're Baron throwing. Ah, this is interesting. Let's watch this. So why can we see it here? You have Baron? Yeah, that's and... it. We have Baron. Yeah. Um, we saw Tristana bot, so Baron will help us do this, but... Oh, this is really awkward, isn't it? Someone's dying. <laughs> don't help don't this, help right? This. That's more yeah. cool, I guess. Uh, don't help that. Just farm. Oh, what's going on here? What is going on here? I'm trolling. I'm so strong, I'm probably just like trolling, but... Definitely don't. Yeah, look how close that was, right? Or to burn QSS or something. Um, I think Poppy's dying. Can you help this guy? Probably not. Huh? No, they seem like they're chasing. Oh, he's just. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, goodbye. But we came to see if we could help. We're not committing, right? He is fucking dead. So, shirt, go top. I think that's fine. Get red. I think that's fine. Notice how the wave is past the river. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna come back to us, right? Uh, okay, there's a fight going on. Oh, wait, is this... Did we see this already? Is this deja vu? They're doing it again? <laughs> so yeah, it's very clear that you do not want to... Do not do this thing that they're doing, okay? It's just... Someone made this call twice. They lost. They're losing. Um, spoiler alert, they're losing both times, okay? Here, we're just making sure we can't die, right? Who do we die to in this fight? We haven't really talked about this, but when it comes to team fights, uh, if it's an even fight, this is a 5v5, right? Mm -hmm. If it's an even fight, when can you hit the closest target? When Mouse blows his ult. When you are uh, basically unable to be killed. Right. Okay. So it's not just... Um, the reason why we have to specify it like that is because... W do we have a counter to Mouse Heart ulti? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The QSS. Right. And let's say if they had a Sejuani ulti and we had no QSS, we have Flash for that, right? So mm -hmm. as long as you're ready, like let's say... Uh, we're going to QSS Malzahar ulti and Flash Graves ulti, then you're good to go. You can do whatever you want, right? So that's what we're doing, is we're making sure our QSS is ready, we can hit the closest target, yeah? Gotcha. All right. But I don't think it came up as often in in, in your game. Um, it was more like they had more people, you want to run, right? So, so um, pretty much just don't commit to things that that isn't, like you said, yes. a clear win. Yes, do not commit to something that you have no idea what's going on. It's just, it's uh, the average case is losing, right? Okay. The average case is always losing. All right? Okay, we're going to push. And then is there another fight? I don't know if there's another fight, but let's take a look. Oh, this is, okay, this is this is super advanced. Don't do this, but um, we'll just watch this for now. But this is just like, if you're just trying to test your limits, what's going on here? This is a late trying game to, idea. Trying to blow up... Uh... Since Baron's just now spawning, you're trying to blow up somebody, so it's you're at an advantage no matter what. Mm, there's a bigger idea here. Like, uh, why is this consistently winning? You're Even though we have less people. big cooldowns. Uh, how? Let's 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 see. Uh, watch Victor in this fight. What did he, he get to do? He just walks straight in and blows up uh, <laughs> Tristana. Yeah. Yeah, he's just killing everyone, oh, right? So, so you're bait oh, I get what you're saying. So you're baiting because you know uh Victor's behind them and can kill all of them, right? Right. There's multiple ideas at work here, right? So there's the idea of you can try and one shot someone, right? And then right. get away. There's the idea of 
we can go for this because the only way they can stop us is polymorph or Mazahar ult. So we're going to QSS. So this is going to be okay no matter what. Another idea is um, carries are more valuable the later the game goes on. So instead of like it's 5v5, a carry is worth like one and a half of a person and a support could be like half a person, right? Right. So there are a lot of different ideas going on here, but um, the basic idea is just we still can't be killed, right? No matter what happens, right? We can always QSS and flash out, right? But we're just looking for something here. This is just, don't do this. I think this is like not really consistent unless you're you're insane. Like, let's say for example, let's say for example, they had flashed for us. This is losing, right? Right. Right. Well, so that's, that's why I would have this. If you got polymorphed and then QSS that, then, you know, Malzahar was right there. So then you get ulted and just die. Right. There are a lot of things that could be, that could go wrong here. So right. I would say, <laughs> don't recommend just this but do the safer play safer play right, is usually right. the better play right exactly exactly the more consistent play and then here's just yeah. i guess we're just ending the game but cool. you, you you see you see the the main ideas at work right yeah is um consistency is key right you want to hit someone you should think i look at the map first because i think that's your the biggest problem you have right you want to hit someone or hit tower or do dragon press tap how many people are here and then uh when you don't know what to do you say, where can I make money? Push waves out past the river. Do yeah, I think something. those are the, the biggest ideas. All right. Cool. I got some valuable notes, I think. And, Sounds uh, good. Any um, any questions? Anything you want to go back and look over again? I Literally don't think so. Mainly it's... I, I just got to change my play style because... Um, I tend to get into the same routine. I do the same thing over and over again and expect <laughs> different outcomes. So, <laughs> Right. I mean, I think that's with most players, right? So, oh, what is this? You're killing Jin here. Um, wow. <laughs> uh, so, like, anything... Sp you think from, from like, uh, D3 on, is there anything more specifically, like, in that... Oh, yeah, that's fucking wild. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I gotta watch this. Yo, hold hold the phone. Let's watch this. That's fucking wild. You said, "Oh no." The hell yeah, let's do it. Well, this is different than what we talked about, to be honest. But uh, I mean, you want me to talk about this or nah? Uh, yeah, I mean, we can. Um, I feel like if I would have went for Malzahar there, it might have added a better result, right? Because look, I have. Or, or I have my passive stack on him. That would have been a one shot. Right. So I would say the main idea that's going on here is your standard team fight, right? Where um, you save all your abilities and you hit the closest guy when you're safe, right? That's very familiar, right? Mm -hmm. And then when you see a play that's not that, you need to calculate that it works 90% of the time for whatever reason. Let's say you're gonna ult in and QSS flash lease and kick or something like that, right? You gotta you gotta weigh out for everything they can do. All right, what are you gonna do if Blitz fists you out of the ulti? I don't know, right? Something like that. But uh, once you can calculate that, then you go for it. Otherwise, you just hit the closest guy. You're probably winning, right? So you try to you, you went for something that uh wasn't ninety percent. We would say, right? Yeah. So that's about it. But I would say four v five map awareness ideas are more important right now, right? Um, sorry, what were you saying? You were definitely saying something. Yeah, it was more or less, you know, anything specifically from like D3, like on it, I, I assume everything we just went over, um, it's going to help, you know, my gameplay and just may help me win more consistently. But, um, anything specific that you notice, like in diamond three that you can exploit? Um, okay, so at that level, it's more like uh, you punish them. Like you said, you weren't familiar with the concept of pushing past the river, right? Right. So all of a sudden, someone in Challenger will have 100 CS on the other guy. And it's like, oh, it's over, I guess, right? Right. Um, that's that's like one of the main reasons is just they, they're losing minions every 30 seconds, right? Um, another one is they're randomly use abilities. So in 2v2 situations, they're losing, right? So let's say... Um, you use Kaisa and you hit the minions, for example. That's why I was like Monka S is because uh, you had lower value on your abilities than you could have gotten, like isolating Morgana or something like that, mm -hmm. right? That's another. That's like another pinpoint. Um, the third one is probably like uh, more like decision making related, or even matchups, right? Any honestly, there are a lot of things from 
uh, Diamond Fighter, Diamond Three, Diamond Three to Diamond One, Diamond One to Challenger, right? It's all kind of it gets more advanced, but the fundamentals are all there, right? Okay. Um, if you can, if you master all the fundamentals and you have zero tricks, you can get the Challenger, right? Um, and then if you want to get above that, then maybe you need to add more tricks or ex- exceptions to the rules. But it's, that's how that's how important the the basics are, honestly. Um, it's just super clean gameplay. You're gonna be winning every time, right? All right. Sounds good. Yeah. I don't think I have any more questions. I'm going to kind of read over these notes, maybe watch uh, one more game on my own, see if I can identify them by myself. And Sounds uh, good. Play Sounds some good. Games. Um, as like a final review, I would say, first and foremost, the main habit I would say you should work on is you go into game and you say you want to do something. Like, I want to kill this guy. I want to hit this guy. You look at the map first. Okay. That's like the first step always. Look at the map before you do anything. And then the second thing is um, when you're fighting and you have no idea what's going on, you play like you're losing. Because if your team is winning, you might miss out a few kills. But if your team is losing and you play like you're winning, everyone's dying. Right. Yeah. So. I, yeah. As you saw, I do that a ton. <laughs> so. Yeah. That's, the, that's what I would say. Those are the two biggest things that I think will help you the most. Okay. Look at the map. Where is everyone? Then, then do your thing or don't do your thing. And then in fights, play like you're losing until it's super obvious, right? You will know. I promise you, you will know, right? You've played enough games to know. Yeah. Um, and then once you can do those two things, you go from there, right? Probably after that, it'd be like matchup ideas in lane or even something like, um, uh, actually, I'm not really sure. I think those are the two biggest, right? Maybe even something like make sure you're, you know if you're losing minions or not in a side wave. And I think, I think that, that, that'll, that'll, that'll pretty much sum up all the, 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 the fundamentals you need to work on for now. All right, sounds good. Sounds good, sounds good. Cool. If you do have questions, um, feel free to message me on Discord, right? You're mm-hmm. like, uh, is this fight losing or winning and why? Feel free to send me a clip, right? I'll let you know. Uh, other than that, I'm going to upload this to YouTube and send you a link. Is that okay? That's perfectly fine. And uh, yeah, if that is all, then good luck in your games. Let me know. Let me know how they turn out. Yep, thank you. I appreciate it. No problem, no problem. Have a good one. Yeah, you too.